Welcome, my friend. We fought the good fight and won. Rejoice! Ah, there you are. I'm not disturbing you, am I? Dead? Me? <laughs> I have been close many times, but I never quite made it all the way. I just wanted to make sure you were happy here in Weissopt. These grand halls were built by the first Grey Wardens. Isn't it breathtaking? The Darkspawn are gone, remember? You were there in the last great battle. It was a triumph for all of us, bringing down the Archdemon and setting the underground lairs ablaze. The Grey Wardens shall be keepers of history. We shall tell tales and sing songs of a more tumultuous time that others may rejoice in knowing that that time is past. The Duncan you know was a man forged in the fires of war. I am different now, at peace. I have learned to be tranquil. Foolish child. I have given you so much and you cast it back in my face. Can you not be content with the peace I offer? It seems only war and death will satisfy you. So be it. Have your war and your dark spawn. May they be your doom. Time for more practice. Hmm. Find you. Oh, yes. Who are you? Where did you come from? Are you a demon? No, I see that you're not. You're like me. Congratulations on getting out of that trap. You came here with others. Then yes, they would be trapped. The demon traps everything that comes here in a dream it thinks they can't or, or won't try to leave. I thought I'd escape too, but I've been wandering these empty grey spaces for a lifetime. Yes, I am. My name is Njal. I was trying to save the Circle when I encountered the Sloth Demon. I expect our experiences were similar. Owain helped me greatly. I suppose I'll never be able to repay him. Litany was our weapon against the Blood Mage's domination. But it's too late. Everyone's dead.
I don't know. They must have been practicing in secret, even teaching others. I knew these people, trusted them. The litany was our only hope of saving the Circle. But now, this place drains you of everything. Hope, feeling, life. No, there is no way out of here. You think there might be, but you'd be wrong. You see that pedestal there? I've studied the runes on it. Runes that signify different islands of the Sloth Demon's domain. The Sloth Demon itself is on the center island, but you can't get there. The five islands around the center somehow form a protective ward. I thought I was getting somewhere when I figured that out, and I went to each island in turn only to have my hopes dashed. There's always an obstacle. You'll see the path but be unable to get to it, and it taunts you and drives you mad. I... I don't know. There are many dreamers. You might find a way to reach them through the islands, if you're lucky. Yes. Obstacles and mad dream things. A river of flame before a portal, or a, a door that shows you freedom through a keyhole that no key will fit. I once found a passageway smaller than my hand with a mouse going to and fro through it. Silly thing fled before I could question it. Because almost everyone here is a dreamer, except for the spirits and the demons, I suppose. Each dreamer may know things another may not. The mouse could have told me what lay beyond the tiny passage, or how to get there. Even how I might make myself small like him and crawl through myself. And if one could become small enough to take one path, perhaps there are similar ways to walk the others. Not much. You couldn't say we were friends, really. Demons have their own hierarchies. They play their own games and mortals serve as... pawns, perhaps even bargaining chips. The demon keeping us here probably rules this entire section of the Fade. It'll not let us go easily, if at all. Nothing dampens your spirit, does it? I don't know whether to admire or pity you. I don't know much. I... I think the Sloth Demon has placed lesser demons on each of the islands. I've seen them. They take different shapes, but they're there. Defeating them may be the only way to reach the Sloth Demon. But you have to get to them first. I... I couldn't. I was too afraid to try. Don't mind me, then. Hmm. I, I just want to leave this place. Help! Ah. Thank you, but too late for me. Kill Yavina, the demoness that rules here. She protects her master, Sloth. There's a door. A door only demons can see. The key must be in another realm. Take my power. Save any others trapped in nightmares. Kill the demons that guard Sloth. Make my...
Casting. Focus. Something happened, didn't it? You look a little different. What happened? Did you? Did it help? I know I saw the tiny holes. Were you small enough to get through? I... I don't know. You're so much braver than I am. I was so sure it was impossible to get anywhere. Do you think you could learn other shapes? Maybe they could help you get to places you couldn't otherwise. Now let's see, which one first?
Yes. Going. The anger... fading. I am free! Take Ragos' power. Use it and burn him. Burn them all. He guards Sloth. He bars the way. You must destroy the door. Other dreamers. Other powers. Only way. Going. All right.
Oh, this racket is going to drive me mad. Do something about it. Oh, just stuff some wool in your ears. I don't hear anything. Oh! Ugh. I've had enough of the... this noise. Trust anybody, especially each other. And the solution is so simple. We kill. Kill everyone. How delightful.
people. It's what we do. We're mages. Yes! Our magic gives us power over others. <laughs> Use your gift today! Let us play a game. The one who causes the most pain wins. Thank you. It is time for this dream to come to an end. I give you my strength. It will be of little use against the demon that rules here, but perhaps it will help in other realms. Find a way to kill all the demon lords to open the way to sloth. Free us all from this nightmare!
Yes, yes. Must be quiet. You! Them. But not all. Their leaders are behind the unbreakable door. I give you my wisdom. It will let you see. And now I wake. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 
What did you do? I felt something. Like the Earth was shifting. Except it probably wasn't the Earth. You did? You managed to get to it? I... I didn't think it was possible. Killing that demon must have opened something. Perhaps... Perhaps the pieces are falling into place now. Not much. I know that it stops blood mages from taking over your mind. I don't even know who or what a Drolla is. You're better off asking someone more knowledgeable. Aldred is the mastermind behind it all. At Aldred's suggestion, the Circle was about to ally itself with Loghain when the Tern's treachery was revealed. Aldred made excuses, but we were having none of it. 
He panicked then, tried to leave. Irving would not let him. I was barely paying attention. Such meetings are boring. The course of action usually decided before we even congregate. Aldred let loose a bolt of energy that flung us all against the far wall. That woke me up. It might have been a signal. That was when a whole group of mages poured into the chamber. And that was when I saw real blood magic in action for the first time in my life. It was like they brought the wrath of the Maker himself down upon our heads. I was just getting to that. Aldred must have also dabbled in demonology. When the fighting started, he tried to summon something, or, or some things. They overwhelmed him, and when his screaming stopped, Aldred was... gone. I'm sure he wishes he were dead. Aldred became an abomination. And when I saw it, I ran for my life. I was in a panic. Once I calmed down, I thought about what would happen if... that thing... got out. I gathered some of my fellows and we obtained the litany from the stockroom. I thought if we disabled the others, we could... throw everything we had at Aldred. But... I saw my friends fall. One by one. And now it's my turn. What do you think I could possibly help you with? I... I don't know. There are many dreamers. You might find a way to reach them through the islands, if you're lucky. I don't know much. I... I think the Sloth Demon has placed lesser... They take... De but you have to get to them first. I... Uh, not much. It'll not let us go easily, if at all. Nothing dampens your spirit, does it? Don't...
You're back. That's not surprising. There's no way out. Every time you take a step, you think, maybe this step will take me home. But you'd be wrong. All right.
Yes.
Maker, forgive me. I failed them all. They died and I did not stop it. What about all this? How can you say that when you are faced with this? Death. Can you not see it? It's all around us. Why was I spared, if not to help them? What use is my life, now that I have failed in the task that was given me? Leave me to my grief. I shall bury their bones, scatter their ashes to the four winds, and mourn their passing till I too am dead. Your blatant disregard for the souls of the dead strikes me as being utterly inappropriate. I do not know what you are trying to tell me. Why must you make this more painful? And where were you when this happened? I trusted you as an ally, and you were nowhere to be found. I do not know what this will accomplish, but I will do this if it will satisfy you. It is difficult to focus. It feels as though something is stopping me from concentrating. I've never had so much trouble. Perhaps some time away from this place will help me think clearly. Don't leave us, Wynne. We don't want to be alone. Holy Maker, stay away, foul creature! Stay, Wynne. Sleep soundly in the comforting embrace of the Earth. Do not fight it. You belong here with us. No, 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 not yet. My task is not yet done. It is not time yet. Come. Come away to your rest. Is it over? Thank the Maker for you. Wait, what's happening? Where are you going? I'm off.
I know you want to. The game isn't over, mortal. <laughs> Catch me if you can! I know. The game isn't over, mortal. <laughs> Doesn't it? Away! Away with you! I shall have no more of your pestering! I am your mother. Do you not love me? You are as much my mother as my little finger right here is the Queen of Ferelden. I know you, Fade Spirit. You cannot fool me. Are you more clever than your own dear mother? Surely such pride must be punished. There! That is for not showing respect. That is far more like it, but it is too little too late, spirit. Tis you at last. Come and rid me of this vexatious spirit. I weary of being prodded. Tis not plain to see? We are in the Fade, and this is a Fade spirit, and not my mother, despite its constant assertions. She doesn't even acknowledge her own mother. My heart, it breaks. Oh, slay it, and quickly. Even the true Flemeth was never as annoying as this. about time that was most wait what is this no not this again i refuse oh hello you must be one of alistair's friends 
Hey, it's great to see you again. I was just thinking about you. Isn't that a marvelous coincidence? This is my sister, Goldana. These are her children, and there's more about somewhere. <laughs> We're one big happy family, at long last. What are you talking about? Well, Alistair, is your friend staying for supper? Say you'll stay. Goldana's a great cook. Maybe she'll make her mince pie. You can, can't you? Of course, dear brother. Anything for you. You're acting really strangely. All right, if it makes you happy. I... It's a little fuzzy. But that's strange. Alistair, come and have some tea. No. Wait. I remember a... tower. The circle. It was under attack. There were demons. That's all I really remember. Are you saying this is a, a dream? But it's so real. Of course it's real. Now wash up before supper and I... Something doesn't feel quite right here. I... think I have to go. She is, but... she isn't. No, he is ours, and I'd rather see him dead than free. Time for more! <laughs> at your order. Did I not see this earlier? Yes, uh, well, try not to tell everyone how easily fooled I was. Are we going now? Wait, where are you going? What's happening to me? Hey! An escaped slave? <laughs> my, my, but you do have some gall. But playtime is over. You all have to go back now. Oh, here I am. And there you are. You just disappeared. Well, no matter. <laughs> You made a dangerous enemy, demon, by toying with my mind. You will not hold us, demon. We found each other in this place, and you cannot stand against us. If you go back quietly, I'll do better this time. I'll make you much happier. Can't you think about someone other than yourself? I'm hurt. So very, very hurt. You wish to battle me? So be it. You will learn to bow to your betters, mortal.
Let us end this. I shall do it. Now we go into battle. What do we have but if you go back quietly, can't you think you
cares? As you wish. Oh, this should be good. You defeated the demon. I never thought... I, I never expected you to free yourself. To free us both. When you return, take the litany of Adrala from my body. It will protect you from the worst of the blood magic. I cannot go with you. I have been here far too long. For you it will have been an afternoon's nap. Your body won't have wasted away in the real world while your spirit lays in the hands of a demon. Every minute I was here, the Sloth Demon was feeding off of me, using my life to fuel the nightmares of this realm. There is so little of me left. I was never meant to save the Circle, or survive its troubles. I am dying. It is as simple as that. Thank you, but it is too late for me. I do not fear what may come. They say we return to the Maker in death, and that isn't such a terrible thing. My only regret is that I could not save the Circle. But you... You can. Take the litany off my... my body when you return. It is important. I can rest easy, knowing you will save the Circle. I'm not a hero. Perhaps trying to be one was foolish. Before I was taken to the Circle, my mother said I was meant for greatness. I would be more than my ancestors could have ever dreamed. I hope I haven't disappointed her. It is time for us both to be on our way. Remember the litany of Adrala. The circle is all that matters now. Thank you, and goodbye, friend. Thank you. 
I'm off. If you must. All right, I'll let you then. What?
I shall do it. This trick again? I know what you are. It won't work. I will stay strong. The boy is exhausted. And this cage, I I've never seen anything like it. Rest easy. Help is here. Ugh, enough visions! If anything in you is human, ugh, kill me now and stop this game! You broke the others, but I will stay strong for my sake. For theirs. Filthy blood mages getting in my head. I, I will not break. I'd rather die. What others? What are you talking about? Irving and the other mages who fought Aldred. Where are they? They are in the harrowing chamber. The sounds coming up from there. Oh, Maker. We must hurry. They are in grave danger, I am sure of it. You can't save them! You don't know what they've become. They've been surrounded by, by blood mages whose wicked fingers snake into your mind and corrupt your thoughts. His hatred of mages is so intense. The memory of his friend's deaths is still fresh in his mind. You have to end it now, before it's too late! Are you really saving anyone by taking this risk? To ensure this horror is ended. To guarantee that no abominations or blood mages live. You must kill everyone up there! That is your choice to make, but I beg you to consider what I have to say. You cannot tell Maleficarum by sight. Just one could influence the mind of a king, of a grand cleric! You may be confident in your ability to stand up to them, but what about the rest of us? Will you protect us from them? I am just willing to see the painful truth, which you are content to ignore. Ah, but what can I do? 
as you can see, I am in no position to directly influence your actions, though I would love to deal with the mages myself. Don't waste time on me. Deal with Uldred, if that is what you plan to do. Once he is dead, I will be freed. No one ever listens. Not until it's far too late. Maker turn his gaze on you. I hope your compassion hasn't doomed us all. Going. Do you accept the gift that I offer? Look what we have here. An intruder. I bid you welcome. Care to join in our revels? Oh, very observant. I'm quite impressed you're still alive. Unfortunately, that must mean you killed my servants. Ah, oh, well, they are probably better off dying in the service of their betters than living with the terrible responsibility of independence. We needn't fixate on who killed whom. That doesn't help our relationship. A mage is but the larval form of something greater. Your gentry vilifies us, calls us abominations, when we have truly reached our full potential. Look at them. The gentry has them convinced. They deny themselves the pleasure of becoming something glorious. You're mad. There's nothing glorious about what you've become, Aldred. <laughs> Aldred? He is gone. I am Aldred, and yet not Aldred. I am more than he was. I could give you this gift win. You and all the mages. It would be so much easier if you just accepted it. But some people can be so stubborn. And what good did that do? I still won. I even have the first enchanter on my side. Don't I, Irving? What have you done to him? Stop him. He is building an army. He will destroy the Templars. And you're a sly little fox, Irving. Telling on me like that. And here I thought he was starting to turn. Never! That's enough out of you, Irving. 
He'll serve me eventually. As will you. Ha! <laughs> I serve no one. No. I have plans for you. Great plans. Your raw potential, with the strength of a demon behind it, would be unstoppable. I can do that. I can give you power and a new life. I don't think your opinion matters. That is what I've decided, and that is what will be done. Fight, if you must. It will just make my victory all the sweeter. Don't forget the litany. It will thwart Aldred's attempts to control the mages and win this fight for us.
Yes. Omega, I'm too old for this. Irving, are you all right? I've been better. But I am thankful to be alive. I suppose that is your doing, isn't it, Wynne? I wasn't alone. I had help. The Circle owes both of you a debt we will never be able to repay. Come. The Templars await. We shall let them know that the Tower is once again ours. All right. But please hurry. Gregor should be informed of what happened here as soon as possible. Are you ready to leave yet? We should tell the Templars about what went on here. I'll need you to guide me down the stairs. Ugh, curse whoever insisted the Circle be housed in a tower. Irving? Maker's breath. I did not expect to see you alive. It is over, Gregor. Aldred is dead. Aldred tortured these mages, hoping to break their wills and turn them into abominations. We don't know how many of them have turned. What? Don't be ridiculous. Of course he'll say that. He might be a blood mage. Don't you know what they did? I won't let this happen again. I am the Knight Commander here, not you. We have won back the tower. I will accept Irving's assurance that all is well. But they may have demons within them, lying dormant, lying in wait. Enough. I have already made my decision. Thank you. You have proven yourself a friend of both the Circle and the Templars. I promised you aid, but with the Circle restored, my duty is to watch the mages. They are free to help you, however. Speak to them. For now, I will have to oversee a sweep of the tower. There may be some survivors, and we should do our best to tend to them. Please excuse me. And Irving, it is good to have you back. Ah, I'm sure we'll be at each other's throats again in no time. Here we are, the tower in disarray, the circle nearly annihilated. Oh, it could have been much, much worse. I am glad you arrived when you did. It's almost as though the Maker himself sent you. The least we can do is help you against the Darkspawn. I would hate to survive this, only to be overcome by the Blight. We will do what we can for now. But if the Blight spreads, the Tower itself will be lost. Stopping the Blight is more important. You have my word. As First Enchanter, the Circle will join the Grey Wardens in the fight. Irving, I have a request. I seek leave to follow the Grey Warden. Wynne, we need you here. The Circle needs you. I appreciate the sentiment, Irving. But the Circle will do fine without me. The Circle has you. This man is brave and good, and capable of great things. If he will accept my help, I will help him accomplish his goals.
You were never one to stay in the tower when there was adventure to be had elsewhere. Why stay when I can be of service elsewhere? Then I give you leave to follow the Grey Warden, but know that you always have a place here. There is much to be done here, and I must go. You must forgive me for not being a proper host. The child is possessed, but killing the demon would mean killing the... Unless you intend to enter the Fade. Yes, yes, it can be done with a group of mages. I shall gather what mages I can, and we shall leave promptly. A life is at stake. I wish I could have gone with them. To fight. My men have scouted the tower. It's a mess, but the abominations are gone. You are very thorough. I'm impressed. And I am thankful you arrived when you did. In no time? Hmm. Doubtful. But it doesn't hurt to be optimistic sometimes. I shan't keep you then. Farewell. You really killed all those abominations? I didn't think it was possible. I thought we'd all die here. I'm sure you need supplies after that, don't you? You really killed. I'm sure you need supplies after that.
The Blight. How will you end it? Is that all? It is surrounded by an ocean of darkspawn. How will you reach it? If you reach it, how will you slay it? You say you are a Grey Warden. I have heard stories of this order. Great strategists and peerless warriors. That is what we hear of the Wardens. So far, I am not impressed. Evidently not. It remains only to see what you are here for. Indeed. Yes. Yes. Horse feathers. I bring word, sire. There are demands from the Banorn that you step down from the Regency. They are said to be gathering their forces, as are your allies. It appears it will be civil war after all, despite the Darkspawn. Pity. I also have an interesting report. There seem to be Grey Wardens who survived Ostagar. How, I don't know. But they will act against you. I have arranged for a... a solution. With your leave. The Antivan Crows send their regards. An assassin? Against Grey Wardens, we will need the very best. <laughs> <laughs> and the most expensive. Just get it done. Thank <laughs> you. 